There is no charge for awesomeness. Hi 30 day challenges, Caro here and welcome to day 22's video. We were actually going to go one step further into your AdWords campaign. So today I'm going to show you or, or speak to you with regards to your maximum cost per click, your CTR and also your ad positioning. I'll also touch on conversion tracking. Now due to recent events, I'm actually using a replacement um, example here. So there will be some imagination required at the same time the principles hold true and I want you to think about what I'm saying in relation to your own account and your own ad groups. So without further ado, come with me. Okay, so here we are. Now this is an old account where I was testing a variety of keywords with regards to a, a particular niche. Now, some of these figures, you, you might look at this 40 cents and think, oh my goodness, is Caro saying I, I should be spending 40 cents? No, Caro is not saying that. Caro was hoping that you're not spending 40 cents, not for the 30 day challenge, not maximum CPC. As I said, we've had to bring in alternative um, methods or approaches in order to still be able to credibly teach you what we wanted to teach you with regards to AdWords. So we, I do need you to have a little bit of um, imagination and flexibility with this um, yourself because there was no way we could show you the vintage electric guitar um, account because unfortunately um, it's it's just been made a, a mess of by people I don't even want to put energy into. So anyway, so these were a, an ad group and the ad group was body language and so I had, as, you, as you've been taught, those three keywords in there. Now the body language phrase match was the one that was the, the biggest mover, had the most impressions and most clicks. It was also, there was a point there that I was actually, because I was testing and again this is a time prior to what we're doing now, I was prepared to spend up to 50 cents for a very short time to test this market to see the traffic. Again, I'm not recommending you do that. So the average cost per click for this was 42 cents. It was a very expensive keyword to me. So. What you'll see though is my CTR is a very healthy 5.23 and the other CTRs for the other um, configurations broad and exact match are also very very healthy albeit a low number of clicks. Now for you I recommend well Google wants you to get or AdWords want you to get over 1% CTR so if your CTR and its click through rate if it is less than 1%, and I would also encourage you to go for 2% and above, and why not achieve a 5% yourself, it means that your ad is not speaking to the prospects. They're not feeling an urge to click through and see what you have to say. Now at this point you're actually split testing, so you'll be looking at your ad's click through rate individually and anyone that's not performing, that's getting under 1%, you would delete and you would replace with another test ad. So this is like, you know, overall the click through rates here. So I would keep all of these for now. If you have a low one, what you would do is very simple, you choose that and you delete. Now, if you have an ad group that, and I'll move on to this now, that is not performing, that it's costing you a lot, you're having say low CTRs. Now CTRs are something you can work on to improve by changing your ad content. So if it's costing you a lot and you're not getting a very good position, and these are great positions because ideally you'd like to be in position one to three. Position two is a position that I, I really, really like to get. There, there's been some, um, some evidence suggesting that position one is not the desired position, position two is. So anything from one to three I am, I am very happy with. So I would actually keep every um, keyword in this particular ad group. If I saw, and it's very, very common to see something that was down in position 5 or position 8, and it was costing me um, quite a lot and I wasn't getting a lot of traffic, I'd be very likely to delete that, um, that particular keyword or if it's overall for the ad group, I'd delete that ad group. So that's what we mean by peel and sticking. In the old days, what that meant is we'd actually have a lot of keywords in an ad group. Now this is how AdWords have evolved because now you really want to be keyword specific. So you, you know, the theory is as I've taught, one keyword per ad group in those three derivations. So 
peel and stick used to be about peeling out um, keywords from an ad group. Now it's more like deleting ad groups, deleting, uh, you know, one of the derivations there that's really not performing for you. Now you'll see these zeros here. What this highlights is this is actually, and you'll see up in your toolbar, there's a there's a section say called conversion tracking. You get account snapshot, campaign summary, tools, conversion tracking, and website optimizer. When you uh, click onto conversion tracking, you'll see a whole variety of options there. And if I just click onto now, now I am going off the page and you're not seeing everything because there's just some elements that, given everything that's happened, I would prefer to keep hidden at this stage. It's a shame that it's come down to this. But I am clicking onto this area. And again, this is just to take you into that section and you would create an action. Now, we're not officially teaching you this at this point. We just want you to be aware that this exists and it can be very useful for you to track your lead. So if you have like your landing page, which is your main ranking vehicle, and then you end up having a page that it diverts to, that you want people to click through, that you can put tracking onto, then you would use this. So let's go back to campaign summary. So the key points again, and I do apologize for asking you to use your imagination here. I, this is not our preferred way, and I am still hoping that you can get value from this, is really you want to be focusing on your CTRs. You want to get healthy CTRs. In order to get healthy CTRs, it's about the quality of your ad, and it's perfectly okay to keep on testing it can take a while to get good at writing ad copy and what I find useful is to use examples that are already existing in that market and please do not copy them word for word. It can just give you an idea of, of maybe what might work So, with regards to your ad. So that's for that. Your average CPC, um, well again that's indicative. If, if you've chosen to go up to 20 cents and you're, it's costing you 20 cents, you've got a low CTR and not many clicks, then you would look at deleting that particular, um, you know, that particular keyword. And again, average position, if it's a low position, you'd also want to look at removing that. Now, all I can say now, a lot of you that might be listening to this and you're, and you're new and you're thinking, oh my goodness, I want to do the right thing. Honestly, it is trial and error. Again, I cannot say enough with AdWords, we're not saying you have to spend money. We are saying that please be responsible about it. Please be very careful, monitor your campaign. And with AdWords, it really, really pays to read the information that Google supplies about AdWords advertising. It does change, it is a dynamic entity, and the requirement on the advertiser is that you keep up with AdWords changes yourself. So this has very much been a 101 introduction um, to AdWords and it is it is a um, rewarding and at times very challenging way of you know obtaining traffic and I have to say I certainly do love the rewarding part. It has been very rewarding for me and the rewards do outweigh the challenges. So if you're at the beginning stage, that's great. You've got to learn. You've got to start somewhere. So I'm going to flip to the um, last slide now and just wave goodbye and I'll talk to you soon. See you soon. Hi there 30 day challenges. Well, I hope you liked my one example in my one ad group. A again, we do wish it was um, different and at the same time the content of what I was talking about is really applicable to to whatever is going on in your account. You really want to be monitoring your maximum CPC, you want to be paying as little as possible, you want to be having the strongest CTR click-through rate and you want to achieve a great position so you know in advertising so you'd like to be in the top three ideally or at least on the first page so it goes to 10 10 is on the first page so again AdWords is something that really like for myself I am I was introduced to it through the 30-day challenge as I'm introducing you to it and it's been very much that I have something that I have learned through um, 
immersing myself in it through making connections with other colleagues and talking to them about their AdWords, not so much about their niches, but just picking up tips and everything like that. So if you choose to go down this path, it is up to you to school yourself as, as much as possible. And I'm hoping that this has given you a really good start. So thank you very much for watching and I'll um, talk to you soon. See you, bye. There is no charge for awesomeness.